know that super excited feeling you get when you're going to do something for the first time and you're just giddy? And we don't have that feeling right now. Mostly it's sheer terror. Stand by. everybody, welcome back to the shop. I am James, and on this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, we are trying a new product. It is from, I don't know how to say this, Solar Ease, Solar Ease, S-O-L-A-R-E-Z, hashtag, not sponsored. I bought this with my own American pesos, and we're gonna try it. Uh, this is a grain sealer and a grain filler. That's what it says. We have uh, taken the steel wool to Liam's tiny guitar body and blended it somewhat, evened it out somewhat, and I think we're going to give it a go. Now the instructions uh, on this say that I'm supposed to, with a soft squeegee, Spread a few passes of I can't believe it's not lacquer grain sealer. That's a lot of words. Uh, across the grain, pneumatically forcing the sealer into the wood. Leave a little residue. Uh, cure with good sunlight for two minutes. Um, good sunlight, okay. Flat sand with 400, repeat it three times. All right, well, we're gonna give it a shot here. Um, because we're attempting to do two things. We're attempting to seal the wood. We are also attempting to fill the grain. I don't know how much of this I'm supposed to use. I'm supposed to leave little residue. Um, I know that because that's what it said. So I guess here we go. Now this is going to be fun because not only do I have to do this on this large back surface here, I also have to do this on the front surface which has got a lot of little detail things in it. And then we have to do it all along the edge. So three possible disasters in one short episode. Um, things I'm already appreciating about this is it does not have a horrendous odor. Because um, we have used some stuff and of course it's, you know, it's got all kinds of enes in it. You know, some of the stuff will have xylenes or toluenes or, you know, whatever's uh, in it. And uh, man, that stuff makes quite the stench. We're going to go across the grain, attempting to pneumatically force this fluid into the grain. I mean, is that what I do? I mean, that's what I would do with regular grain fillers. I would go across the grain, attempting to get the stuff to uh, go into those little holes. So, is that it? Is that what we do? I don't know. That's part of the part of why we are mildly terrified. Now it doesn't say anything on here about cleanup. I don't know what I'm supposed to do for cleanup. I'm gonna put this really close to my face here. 100% solids. No lacquer thinner smell. No vapors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finish comparable to the nitrocellulose. However, 60 seconds compared to 60 days. Okay. Some decent marketing wank, but. Contains acrylates. Avoid contact with eyes, mucous membranes, or skin. I have all three of those, at least at the moment. Okay, we're on here. Let's take this out, and in theory, if we expose it to good sun, whatever good sun is, in two to three minutes, this should be cured. So, I'm gonna err on the side of the disbeliever. Here's a photo of it sitting in the sun. I hope my sun's good. It's Ohio sun. It's the only sun we have today. Um, so, you know, we'll come back in a couple of minutes and uh, see what's going on. 
Oh, and that didn't even record. Lovely. All right, the, uh, I can tell that it is finishing. The downside of uh, my schedule at the moment is that um, I'm working when the light is waning. And since this is a UV triggered cure product, um, I don't have the bright direct uh, afternoon sun because uh, uh, I had to mow the yard. You know, first world problems. So we're gonna let that sit overnight. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to work tomorrow. And then when I'm done with work, uh, I mean, I should be home three or three thirty, something like that. So we'll have some, should have some nice uh, intense sunlight and we'll be able to get it. Cured. Sorry about that. All right, we're back the next day. And as promised, I took this outside into the sun for, I must have left it for four minutes. It was still kind of seepy here on the top. I took it outside and now we're not seepy anymore. It is, it's cured just like it said it would be. So now we're going to work on this second side and I'm giving this a good shake. We're going to get this coated. We'll see if that's enough. Mmm, somebody loves me. I think we're gonna need just a dab more. Okay, I'm now I'm gonna take this rag. This is gonna be my wiping rag because I got a run or two here. Now we're gonna take it outside and see if it actually works. A few minutes later. Well, I have to say that seems to be almost or mostly done. Oh, well. Two minutes. I know this seems strange, but now look, I just put this on and I can touch this. That is crazy. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to wipe this on to the edge and then uh, we're going to carry on. Um, I don't really know of a good way to put this stuff on the edge. Considering that I'm supposed to pneumatically force it into the finish. It's kind of an interesting proposition. Okay, sorry. I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to do this or not. This is what I'm doing. Now, it is entirely possible that people all around the world, or at least the four or five people that are watching this, are absolutely losing their minds right now. But. I can't, I can't think of a better way to do this on all these different surfaces. And we are gonna sand this. We're supposed to sand this with 400 grit in between coats. I don't know. I think what we're gonna do is we'll do this side and we'll take it out and have it set. And then we'll come back in and do the other side. 
and have it set as well. Oh, there's a good stopping point right there at the jack hole. And as I told my classmates, I prefer the term Mr. Jack Hole. Okay, I am now going to take off this glove because what I don't want to do is take this glove out into the sunlight because who knows what sorts of lovely, horrible things could possibly happen there. Uh-huh. Oh, low battery. All right, we'll see if that records for any amount of time. We will talk to the uppy cam. This is dry. There's the side we haven't done. We've done this side, one coat. We've done this side, one coat. We've done this side, one coat. Um, we're gonna hang it like this. We're gonna do the rest of this. And then I think we're gonna call it good until tonight. Anyways, I'll come back when we start sanding this thing later because that camera does not want to cooperate. Uh, welcome back to the shop that is a disaster. Uh, there has been a lot happen in the past few days. Uh, a friend of mine is moving, so he disgorged his uh, wood supply into my shop. It happens. And uh, we have had to build a base for a piece of equipment that by the time you see this is going to be already installed. That's exciting. Uh, I have had a kid who ended up, uh, after quite the lengthy saga, ended up in the hospital, had part of her body removed because it decided it was no longer going to work. That was fun. Um, so it's been crazy. Now, things have continued to happen here at the shop because I would come home briefly from visits to the hospital and I would sneak in a coat on Liam's tiny guitar. So at the moment, it currently has, I believe, eight coats of true oil on it. And we are finally going to get around to wet sanding it. The grain has not entirely filled in uh, with that product. We have, we have learned a lot about uh, grain filling using this product. And this process, this dye process, um, uh, so in a nutshell, what we have learned is that we're probably next time going to grain fill it first. And then we will put the, uh, the color coats and stuff on there. So what we're doing right now, in fact, I don't, this doesn't need to be up here. This can be in a more stable position down here. Let's move this, there we go. <clears throat> um, yeah, not having done an instrument like this before, and of course, on the interwebs you can find all different sorts of ways and all different sorts of processes to do things. So we're trying out what at the moment seemed like an okay way to do it. And well, we've learned. So yeah, next time the grain filler is gonna go down first. Then our color in whichever direction we're going to do it will go down. Now, with that said, this is not horrible. Um, you can definitely see the grain of the mahogany and that's not a, I wouldn't say that's a bad thing because it is kind of attractive. Uh, especially with how the grain will line up with 
uh, the way the color has taken in, you know, to certain sections of the instrument. So all I'm doing now is I'm just using, uh, I'm using True Oil as my carrier to wet sand and we're trying to get the peaks unpeaked and we're trying to fill the valleys in with the slurry that is generated by using 400 grit sandpaper and True Oil. We're gonna sit here and sand this for a bit and then uh, and then we'll do the other side at some point. Uh, even though I have six coats, six or seven, there may even be eight, it got to a point where I just lost count. I would come in at 11, 12 o'clock at night, throw some coats on, grab a couple hours sleep, and be uh, off to the races again. Now, I know it's probably really hard to tell, but there is just this, oh, the battery's getting ready to run out on the uppy cam. That's great. <clears throat> so we're gonna lose this camera here in a minute or less. Uh, so we're sanding off particles of true oil and then they become suspended in the new true oil and then we're kind of forcing that down into the grains again to lessen that and to smoothen it and make it more the shiny. So anyways, I'll bring you back maybe. I mean, I'll bring you back, but maybe not at this. <sighs> yeah. Coffee. Hey, I wonder what the uh, submariners of the world are doing today. Groundhog Day, that's what they're doing. Anyways, I'll bring you back at some point after we have also wet sanded the other side, and then we will see where we go from there. Hey everybody, thanks for hanging out with us this afternoon here at Rattle Cane Guitar Restorations. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to click my beautiful face above. Hit the bell to be notified next time we drop a video. Here's a video uh, that the Hive Mind has picked out especially for you. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. You guys have a great weekend. Shut up, cat. Cheers.